Alright, hello everyone, what is up? My name is Marshall, and today we are back for the 12th episode of this Hoffenheim career mode. And in the last episode, we lost our 7-game winning streak to Leipzig, who were in 16th, but are now moving up to 12th. Borussia Mönchengladbach are surprisingly in that relegation playoff spot. Um, we are in the top part of the table. And as you can see there, we didn't have too much budget left going into deadline day. In fact, we barely had any. And um, I didn't. I wasn't really looking to do anything else. Um, we brought in Forsberg, and I thought we did pretty good business during this window. So I wasn't really looking to do anything. Um, there were a couple people that I wanted to bring in, but or not bring in uh, a couple people that I wanted to get out of the club. But no offers came in. The biggest thing that happened was Spurs signed Juan Mata for 27 and a half million, and then Manchester United get Ogujan Azjukup for 24 and a half million. So that's pretty good business there. From United, but this is what we've done in the window. Forsberg and Grilich have we have signed, and Vargas went in the other way. Hamad left on a free. Kim Min Su went to Bremen, and uh, that was it. So Teratina didn't go, Shalai didn't go, um, and so they would feature throughout the rest of this season. So I was disappointed that we didn't get too many offers in for them, um, but that's okay. And in the youth academy, I don't think I've showed you that this year. Um, Vogel and Schneidler, I think is his name, they look like the most promising ones, so I decided to put them on some training alongside Grilich, and um, also Nadia Mamiri came to us asking for a little bit more money, and so we gave it to him, and then he declined it. So here's a question I'm going to pose to you in a poll. Vote with I. Should we sell Nadia Mamiri, or should we keep him? Make sure to vote in that poll. But starting off, we've got a match against Wolfsburg, and I lost. I like didn't press the commentary button on Elgato. It happens to the best of us, but uh, I, I forgot to press it. But as you can see there, we're in an impressive third place, and we do have two games to hand, I believe, on the teams above, and in this match, they had the least goals, we had the best defense, so we really should have won it by quite a bit, in my opinion there. Uh, of course, they still had Draxler because I started the save in December before the January window. Uh, it's a little bit frustrating, I wonder if there's a way that they can incorporate the January signings in there. Um, Forsberg, is, I think he's going to become a regular starter there, and I wanted to evaluate Amiri as a holding midfielder because Forsberg and Visor make a pretty good pairing. Uh, but in the second minute, they had a chance straight off. Mario Gomez brings it down decently off of a free kick. Christian Trash, Gomez, Gustavo around the edge of our box. Someone that we might look to sign there. But eventually, the ball finds its way back to Mario Gomez, and he rattles his shot off the bar. A good move there from Wolfsburg. And I was scared that this game was going to be bad. But um, just before we get into the live comm, Smolov forces a good save out of the keeper. And this one, Tolian crosses it in, and Forsberg with a good Forsberg shot turns inside. Emil Forsberg has a shot, and Benalio saves that one at his near post. Smolov looking around the corner for Visor. Can he hold off the defender? No, he can, but Bruma does well to block the shot. We'll go for a corner here. Who should we look to get on the end of it? I don't know why Sula is not. There he is. We'll whip this one into the middle. We'll get Sula in here. Come on, Nicholas. Get your head under this one. Nicholas Sula does so. It's actually Fedor Smolov from the CPU, but he scores with the header. Thank you very much. I thought Sula had that one, but it was actually Fedor Smolov, and we get our goal finally off of a corner, directly off corner. I didn't really have to do anything special. And yeah, Smolov, so I think Sula probably would have scored too, but Smolov just jumps right in front of him, and he gets that one perfectly into the bottom left-hand corner. Keeper, no chance, and 1-0 up. So a great first half. We started out by them hitting the bar, but after that, they have had no shots. We've had 7 and 60% possession. We should go on to win this match, but we need to make sure that we close it out quite well. And I think we'll just leave it the same for right now. I keep. I want to make sure that Amiri plays well at holding midfield throughout the whole match. I'm not 100% convinced so far. Visor, go on a run. Mitchell Visor, cutting out wide, dribbling past their whole team, and that's a penalty! I, I cannot believe this. That's just a terrible tackle. What is he doing? Yellow card, rightly so, for Jeffrey Bruma, the former Chelsea player. Never really panned out. Fedor Smolov going to stand over this one. I'll put it top left, and that should be a goal. Oh, it's a great save from Benalio. And, uh, dang, I don't know how he did that one. But, um, wow. We'll whip the corner in. Maybe we can get something out of it. Sula underneath it. Nicholas Sula puts that one, and it almost goes in, but over the bar. Now to Smolov. Can he get this one through for Wagner? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Wagner cut it back and get inside, have a shot on your left, that's decent. He could have gotten that one tops, but Benalio does well. Kodrubek gets this one over to Wagner. He'll go wide for Demir Bay. Karim Demir Bay gets this one through to Rudy, and he scores. Let's go, we should be winning this match. Away from home against Wolfsburg, that was a nice team move. A good ball through to Sebastian Rudy 
from, was it Demir Bay? Or, no, it was, yeah, it was Demir Bay. Okay, he's just so good at playing that clinical pass in real life and in game. And that's what we brought him on for. And Rudy has made it 2-0. And so we will be winning this match away from home unless we have a bad, bad, bad capitulation. Uh, but that's the end of the match. Total domination from us, except for a few lapses in concentration at the beginning. I apologize for me forgetting to press the commentary button uh, this time. But yeah, we were much, but we were by far the better team. Doubled our shots, tripled our shots on target, more possession, and we deserved all three points today. Alright guys, so next up we take on Rock Bottom Darmstadt, and we'll be playing with our rotation team. This didn't work out so well, but I'm confident that we can get a result here today. And even if we don't, it's okay because this is our game in hand on the teams above, so uh, we won't be losing any ground. Nobody will be overtaking us, of course, but we'll go with Uts Chalai up top, Rup and Terzino out wide. Terzino was listed for loan, but no offers came in for him, and I might I might keep him around. I don't know about that one for sure. Uh, Polanski and Schwegler, who's the stand-in captain today. Actually, I'll make that Beck, um, because he just because he left doesn't mean that he cannot keep the captaincy, and of course... In the back, we have Beck, Bichakchic, Hubner, and Zuber. Now, Hubner and Zuber need to prove themselves uh, today because they haven't really been able to have that big of an impact, and um, we need them to step up. We'll have Continental Football next year, and we will need to have a good rotation side for the league. Oh, no. Ben Hatira gets inside. No, 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 no. Bauman makes the save. Jeez, what just happened there? I just a little lapse in concentration early on, but it's very important that these guys prove themselves because a lot of them could be on the way out if they don't have a good game. Abina into Kaisen. No, 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 no. Bauman makes a save. Ooh, this isn't good. Whenever I play with this rotation team, I start to do awful, 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 awful. Polanski. Schwegler. Back heels it over to Polanski. Into Adam Shalai. That's Penn. I, I have no words anymore. Got a penalty last game. We missed it. Got a penalty this game. Hopefully we'll score it here. I think I'll give it to Polanski. No, I'll give it to Beck, actually. Uh, although, shall I could use a goal? I don't know. Uh, do we give it to Beck? Let's see what his stats are. Uh, 42. No, that's not good enough. Let's just give it to shall I? He's decent at pens. Score this, please. How are we keep missing these penalties? That was a good pen. That was a good pen. But they keep saving him. So I guess the penalty, like, the good of penalties is gone. Although, Zuber off the corner does that but we missed two penalties in two games unfortunately and uh hopefully this game isn't going to be one of those games because this is darmstadt we should be beating them Could be dangerous. Ooh, down to polanski finding shall i shall i doing well getting it over the top here for schwegler is he offside i don't think so Oot follows up esther with a good save Oot trying to keep it in keeps the play alive here mark Oot. can what can we do with it over here to schwegler get this into rup cut it back rup have the shot. I don't know why I took the shot there. <sighs> so close. What a good chance that was to score. This is not good. Abina's through. Tries to cut back on Hubner, and they score. Wow. Jerome Gondorf is there. Poor defending, and we're going to lose at home to Darmstadt. This is what I get for putting out this reserves team, but it's just not good enough. This reserves team, and uh, we'll, lucky, we'll be lucky to rescue a point here. Oops. Good ball through to small off. Get this one over here to Demir Bay, and we score instant reply. And we're level all of a sudden. And Karim Demir Bay scores. Straight off the kickoff, we come back up and score. So I'm very. <laughs> I said we lost, and then we scored within two minutes. So, okay. Fair enough. There's a good goal. Oops. Into small off. He could have shot there, but instead he plays it round to Demir Bay, and we knew that he would score. I'm never sure if it's Demir Bay or Demir Bay, so hopefully you guys can tell me in the comments. His third goal, and that's quite important there for the team. Good one over to Schwegler. Well, where's the Darmstadt defense? That's a good question. You want to play where's the Darmstadt defense? Here's Smolov into Ooks to get us the late winner, and he does so. What is happening to Darmstadt? I mean, what's happened? They go 1-0 up finally, and then they just let us right in two times in four minutes. I'll show you the sliders right here to show you that I've not tampered with them. There you go. You can see all 50s for the user, and for the CPU, all 50s. So that is interesting, uh, the Darmstadt tactics used there, but it's a nice goal. Small up into Ooks, and there's just no defense whatsoever. And it's a good 
pass into the corner, but we're 2-1 up, and now we might go on to win this game. This should be it for the match. We whip it in from the corner. Can we add a third? Demir buys under it. It falls to Polanski, and somehow he puts that one wide, but it doesn't matter. Pick up three points. Not in the best of ways. Three players out there that did not impress me all came off, and they were Terracino, Oot, and Chalai, of course, but we definitely deserve to win that match. 12 shots, 7 on target and 4 and 3 for them. But anyway guys, that's going to bring today's episode to a close. I hope that you did enjoy and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out on any more of this career mode. Uh, make sure to vote in the poll that I put in earlier, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys all again next time.